Hey guys, welcome to uh, a new trading video. Today it's the 17th of June. Uh, we are on uh, just a midweek Wednesday. So it's been a very tough week, okay? Uh, kind of as expected through um, our Forex calendar analysis, okay? Um, that's something that I've warned you ahead of time. So since the market is, you know, very difficult to trade, uh, I, so I thought, uh, you know, I'd take some time out to explain to you uh, the two kinds of uh, market condition uh, that you need to be aware of, okay? And it's also good to explain to you right now because uh, we are in the second kind of a market condition, this one over here. So I thought it's, you know, the perfect time for me to talk about uh, this kind of uh, movements, right? What's the unclean slash uh, algo driven movement? Okay, so last week we had a fantastic week, right? We had about uh, 501 pips in profit because last week was what I call a clean movement, okay? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the two kinds of uh, market condition. Then I'm going to, uh, you know, explain to you why uh, you ideally want to trade the first one, okay? Uh, you, you, you will see why in just a moment time, why uh, the big money is made in the clean movements and how it's so much easier. Okay, so let's talk about the first kind of movement. The first kind of movement, movement is called a clean movement. Okay, what's a clean movement? A clean movement is something very simple like um, you have a very uh, structured market where, you know, price breaks out of a level, retest and, uh, you know, let me just show you an example over here. So this kind of market is actually, uh, this kind of market is actually uh, a clean movement. You have support here. Okay, uh, broken, retested, right, as resistance, broken, kind of a uh, retested support again, uh, goes up, breaks down, be a resistant. So basically, what the clean market means is that um, the levels are very clear, meaning that uh, when a support is broken, you can expect it to be a resistance, right? You, you can predict with a relative certainty, right, with high probability that, uh, okay, uh, you know, price has you know, price has broken this uh, resistance, it should act as support right now, okay? So if you just look for a trade here and you buy, uh, your probability is going to be very high, okay? This is called clean movement, right? It's very straightforward. Uh, this happens when the market is committed, okay? When the uh, institutional traders are, um, they are in the, in the trade, okay? Meaning that uh, if you do a breakout trade, uh, it's also okay. So for example, if you look at last week's movement somewhere around here, right? This was last week. Okay, last week was the, um, about the, I think 10 of June to uh, 14 of June, right? So somewhere here, you can see that uh, there's this uh, resistance here, turn support when broken. If you took the shot on when it breaks, right? You would have been in profit, okay? Even if you, uh, you know, you shorted here, you would still have some decent profit. Okay, so this is the kind of clean movement that you want. Okay, clean movement is the time where you want to be very aggressive. You want to take as much trades as possible and you want to trade breakouts. Okay, now the second kind of market condition uh, that we are in right now is called the unclean, okay, slash algo driven. Okay, it's not an actual name, it's just a name I call it. Okay, it's algo driven because levels are not respected, meaning that uh, price has a tendency to uh, let me show you first. Okay, you can see that this was previous uh, resistance, right? What did price do? It closed above, whip a lot of people out, right? You have a you have a fake out here, and then it starts selling down, right? So in an unclean slash algo driven movement, uh, levels are not respected. Okay, so if you are looking at horizontal levels, uh, it's very difficult to trade, right? Especially if you trade breakouts, uh, it's, it's a, a big no no. Okay, you don't want to be trading breakouts. So what's interesting about this kind of market condition is that uh, because it's algo driven, right? Uh, sorry, let me, somehow I cannot click my, uh, this weird, okay. Okay, yes. So as I was saying, in the algo driven uh, movement, right? Uh, the market tends to look at, uh, mathematical levels, right? Levels which are determined by algorithms, right? So in this case, you can see over here that price are respected the 0 0.618 very nicely, okay? So in this kind of environment, uh, where you have high impact news, you have conferences, uh, most of the time is this kind of a market condition where it's unclean, right? Levels are, horizontal levels are not respected and uh, a lot of the levels are found by using uh, mathematical uh, levels, right? Like a Fibonacci, 
Okay, if you are new to our channel or you're new to trading and you don't know how to use the Fibonacci tool, uh, I have another video, so make sure you check that video out. Okay, but as you can see over here, uh, price you know respected 0 0.618 exactly. Okay, so in this kind of environment, uh, for me personally, I don't like to trade because uh, I like uh, to trade breakouts, but uh, this kind of environment is bad for breakouts because price likes to uh, retrace to a, to a mathematical level. Okay, if you trade the breakout, uh, you know, like for example, let's say you trade, you went long, you, you bought somewhere here because you say, oh, it broke out of this level, right? This is uh, support, this resistance, uh, price broke, uh, broke above. And then after that, you know, it retested with this kind of like uh, doji and you go long here, uh, you will have lost money. Okay, so that's why uh, I don't like to do break. I don't like this kind of uh, environment because uh, I myself, I'm a momentum trader. Alright, so there's no momentum if there's no breakout. Okay, so if there's a fake out, I'm gonna lose money. Okay, so let me show you more examples because uh, I think this market there's a lot of examples like this. Okay, so this is a uh, euro pound. Okay, so same thing. You do see that uh, there is some form of support here. Uh, price just broke it down. Uh, broke it down. Okay, and over here. Okay, if you you know you have a very tight stop loss and you use this as reference and you buy, uh, you may or may not have lost money depending on the stop loss. But what's interesting about this is uh, I want to show you again that it's a mathematical level, right? It's a zero point six one eight level again, right? So it's this kind of environment you want to be looking at uh, using Fibonacci. You want to be using uh, you know like your Fibonacci extension tools such as this kind, right? You can see that uh, your, let me just clear this first. You can see that your 1.272 is this level, okay? So another thing to note about this kind of, uh, this kind of scenario is that uh, if you wait for a candle confirmation to buy, uh, chances are you are really too late because uh, this kind of market condition, right? The range is very narrow, okay? So for you to make a money off trending, uh, let me just, draw it out and let me explain it in a clearer manner okay for you to make money uh, trading a like breakout right uh, there must be a big movement right so for example if uh, there's a hundred pips movement and uh, you call it if this is hundred pips movement uh, maybe you enter by the time uh, 20 pips has gone right and by the time you close right because you are looking for uh, where to take profit uh, you minus 20 you minus 20 you probably have a profit potential profit of 60 pips okay but what happens in a range like this where the you know the 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 trend right it's very narrow maybe you only have 50 pips right 50 pips and by the time you enter upon confirmation it's 20 pips gone and by the time you take profit because as price comes down you take profit right you are left with only 10 pips right 50 minus 20 minus 20 is 10 pips okay so this is the reason why in this kind of market uh, if you want to trade, okay, uh, ideally you just trade off the level directly, right? You identify the level beforehand and you just put a limit order there, okay? That's the best way to do it. Because if you wait for confirmation, let's say you enter somewhere here, right? Your stop loss, let me show you your stop loss, is going to be very wide, okay? You put something like this, right? And this is a range, right? So your stop, your take profit even is going to be very it's going to be very tight and you expect this to range so it's not going to be an easy movement up either okay so if you draw the uh, Fibonacci downwards and let's say uh, let me, it's a bit messy okay let's say uh, 0 0.618 this is another important level right because this is the math mathematical level then you are setting up yourself for failure because you see your risk to reward is terrible Okay, but if you had just, you know, put in your entry over here, somewhere here, and, you know, you just put something like that, your risk to reward would be so much better, right? So in this kind of scenario, you want to be trading uh, limit orders. Okay, it's not something that I prefer. Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, in this kind of scenario. Okay, let me see if I can find you uh, one more example. Okay, just to uh, drive home the point. Okay, so same thing for this. Okay. Uh, notice this hair over here, this uh, lower tail here, okay? Now, if you have shorted this on a lower time frame, right, saying that, okay, this is support, right? Let me, let me draw it for you. Okay, you say, uh, 
to say that, um, okay, this is support, this is resistance, this is support. Oh, in the lower time frame, maybe H1, you say, oh, this level is broken and you shot it down. Looks what happened immediately. You have a very big bullish bar up, right? Immediately, you have been stopped out, right? In less than an hour, you would have lost money, right? Because you are not in a clean environment. You are in an environment where uh, your horizontal levels are not respected. Okay, so this is, I think, of all the examples, this is one of the best examples to, to show you, right? To show you that uh, this is unclean, right? Where price doesn't reflect the, doesn't uh, respect the horizontal level, but in, instead goes to the uh, mathematical level, which is uh, a 0 0.786, okay? So you can see that it hits the 0 0.786 precisely, right? Precisely, almost to the pit, right? The level is 1.7393 and the low here, it's... Uh, 1.73879, that's just like a six pips difference, okay? So if you wanted to enter this trade, your best bet would have been to you know, enter a limit order somewhere here, okay? Not to wait for the uh, confirmation because uh, your confirmation, as I mentioned earlier just now, your stop loss is going to be uh, wider and your profit target is going to be, you know, as in your potential profit is going to be lesser. Okay, so that's why I don't like it because I don't like the idea of putting a limit order here and then hoping that the level falls. Okay, it's just not my favorite way of trading. Okay, so back to uh, this uh, this euro dollar. Okay, to sum up this video. Okay, this video is rather a short video. Okay, there are two kinds of market condition. The first one is clean movements where you have the like um, breakout and retest. Okay, you have the uh, breakout plus retest. Okay, very straightforward. Uh, this is the kind of market that you should be making money. Okay, if you are not making money during the clean movements, right, then you shouldn't even be trading all these uh, algo driven movements because this requires more experience. Okay, this is very tricky. It requires you to know how to uh, draw your Fibonacci levels correctly. It requires you to um, set your stop loss correctly because you, you do a limit order. You need to set your stop loss in such a way that uh, price doesn't uh, you know, trigger your stop loss. Right, but at the same time, give it enough room to breathe. Right, so it's more advanced. So if you are struggling, you want to focus on these clean movements before you move on to these uh, unclean, uh, algo-driven movements. In fact, uh, I would even advise, uh, even if you are profitable in clean movements, um, try to stay out of this because it's really very difficult to trade. Okay, and it's very frustrating. Okay, more importantly, it's, it's frustrating. Okay, if you do not catch it at the top here, okay, then... Uh, you enter here. So in this case, right, let me just, since I see it, right, let's say you enter here, you enter upon co candle confirmation, and you put your stop loss above, and you target the recent low, you see your, your risk to reward is barely 1 is to 1.09. It's, it's, it's not fantastic, you see. But if you had just entered a, you know, a limit order directly here, and you control your stop loss, and maybe you put a stop loss of about maybe, I don't know, something like that, maybe 30 pips, and you target the recent low, you see the difference in your risk to reward. You, you see how this sets you up for success, right? With a risk to reward of one to three, uh, you can be wrong seven times, right? Out of 10 times, you can be wrong seven times and you can still make money, right? Compared to, you know, just now the, uh, uh, just now the, how I show you how you do it, right? Upon confirmation, uh, you need to be right more than half the time in order to uh, make money, right? Because, uh, you are risking your risk to reward is about one is to one. So uh, for you to make money, you need to be right more than 50% of the time. Okay. So uh, I'll advise you not to do this. Okay. So I also talk about how uh, unclean algo driven, you need to look at the uh, Fibonacci levels and how the algorithm is actually pushing it to a uh, cal calculated level in their books. Right. So the good thing about algo driven uh, markets is that um, algorithms are fixed. So if you can find out what, uh, levels, you know, like what are the tricks that the algorithm is using, then you can exploit it over and over again. So in this case, this market, uh, this week, I realized that the market is keeps pushing to the 78, 786 or the 618 level. So if I understand this pattern, then I can just keep placing my limit orders at uh, these two levels, okay? But that's not something I like to do, but I just want to point it out to you, okay? So that's it for this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Okay, we have a free day trading guide in the description below. So make sure you download it if you have not. 
If not, if any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address it. Okay, so thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.